This is day two of my motorcycle trip from Shanghai to Huangshan. Good morning guys and welcome back. So it's currently 9.09 a.m. here in Huzhou. So my final destination is Huangshan, as I already mentioned in, the, in yesterday's video. And I'm leaving here at 9 o'clock. It's going to take me about five hours according to the GPS to arrive there. But then stopping and having lunch and doing all other things and taking videos of interesting places is going to slow me down a little bit. So it will take seven hours is what I'm giving myself. Come along with me. Let's go. After checking out of the hotel and getting all my gear on, it was time to go. It's currently 20 degrees and I'm just leaving the hotel. Beautiful day. Very bright and sunny. With how nice the weather was that morning, it was certain to me that I was going to have a beautiful ride on this journey to Huangshan. The streets are quiet here in Huzhou. I hope I have similar weather conditions and road traffic conditions on my way to Huangshan. And I hope everything goes according to plan. Let's go. On making the first turn on my trip, there was water on the road. The road was wet as if it rained the night before, but no, it's common practice here in China that they spray the roads with water to prevent dust from flying in the air. There's a biker group right ahead of me. It's holiday time. beautiful mountain scenery out here this is something we don't see in Shanghai all around the city there are mountains and it just makes the city look beautiful nature intertwined with human intervention beautiful As I headed out, I began to see the natural beauty of this city. Castle Pike is upon us. There's another group behind me. Awesome. I don't know if we're going to the same destination. It's always good to have company. The bike riding culture here in China is getting on. I have the feeling that I've reached the end of straight roads. I'm starting to see a different landscape here and I'm already in Anhui, this Anhui province on my way to Huangshan and I have curved roads, meandering roads. At least they are not coming off the sides of mountains so it's not too bad but the ride is starting to get really fun with all the curved roads. The weather has changed, it's turned a little colder than it was when I left it was sunny until about 
15-20 minutes ago on the right it's getting a bit more chilly because there's more mountainous here with lots of bamboo both on my left and right uh, beautiful scenery I hope I get this kind of scenery and these roads all the way through awesome These sort of roads will bring out the maniac in any motorcyclist but I knew I had to be cautious because these were still town roads and they could be a crossing any time. for quite a while now with these two riders I'm pretty sure they're going to Huangshan just like me because they're taking all the turns that I take fingers crossed The natural beauty on this stretch was just endless. Lush greenery all around, mountains, beautiful environment, cool weather, not too hot, not too sunny. What else do you want? It's just beautiful, calm, serene. The people who live around here, they must be living good. Sometimes we think living in the city is the best, but when you come to these places, you realize how generous nature is sometimes. It's all caves and hills, very undulating around this area, and so the traffic is quite slow. No, no, no rush. Important thing is to get to your destination safely while enjoying the scenery. And that's what is happening to me right now. I am in cloud nine. No matter where you are, always watch out for these kind of drivers. And then came the first tunnel that I had to go through. The first of many tunnels that I went through on this ride. This beautiful water waterfront. They got like ferries and boats on it. I believe it's some kind of a tourist center. Looks like a resort or something of, of that nature. People visiting with cars parked here. Oh that's nice. Since I needed a rest, this tourist site couldn't have come at a more opportune time. After three hours of continuous riding, it's time to take a break. And fortunately, I just spotted this beautiful area where I can take a break for a while. It's a beautiful riverside area, kind of like a lake. And it's been turned into a tourist attraction. So if you look down there, you will see many tourist attractions as you can see there is a boat on the river taking people all around 
to just to enjoy the scenery. It's a really breathtaking place here, somewhere between Hujo and uh, Huangsha. Okay. Okay, all right. This place is also Anhui, right? Yeah, it's part yeah, of yeah, Anhui. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. all right. How long is it from here to Hefei? About ten years. Ten years. Okay. When you when you by car, how many hours from here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. three hours. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. That's fine. So you're coming here or you're going somewhere else? Uh, no. Uh, stay, stay here. Stay here, okay. Okay. All right, that's cool. I had a lengthy conversation with this family. Uh, they were really open-minded and lovely. They also came from a nearby city about three hours away called Hefei, also in Anhui province. We had conversations from where I was from, how life was in Shanghai, and what they were doing in Hefei, and a lot of other topics we had conversations on. It was beautiful. Hello, yeah. hello, boy. Hello. That's your son, right? Yeah, hello. yeah, yeah. Okay. What's your name? Hello. Your name? <laughs> What's your name? You, uh, oh, he can Oh, he can. Show me, show me your kung fu skills. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> very, very good. Is he learning or what? He's learning kung. Okay. All right. Good job. <laughs> hey. What's your name? What's your name? Laura, okay. Laura. My name's my name's Leo. Uh, Leo. Nice Leo. to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. High five. High five. Okay, yes. Good. Okay, five. very good. High five. 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 Yeah, very good. Good job. <laughs> I just finished exploring this awesome place and it's time to continue my trip. Bike looking good, everything is fine. Had some interruptions, got some rest in refresh myself with some water now it's time to continue as you can see it's a very popular place with many bikers and cars stopping over actually causing a bit of traffic here but there's a small parking area here which is not enough because the scenery is just so beautiful so everybody wants to stop by here so yeah i'm just gonna hop on the bike and get on my way according to the gps i got two hours and 35 minutes to arrive so I'm very very close now, I'm just going to get on the bike and, and head out. Wow. It's a busy place, getting out of here is kind of tricky, that window is open so I'm making my way out. It was such a beautiful place, such a f relaxing place with all the good scenery and having a chat with people now it's time to get on my journey so here we go so many tunnels in this area under the mountains when they are constructing their roads here they see a mountain they go through it they see a valley they go over it and that's what you see on the trains on the highways and on the trains as well they usually don't go around the mountain when they are constructing roads they dig right through it it's really impressive
just gonna get fuel here and get some snack. Yeah, I'm down to two bars. Got some bikers here. Got a CF Moto 800 MT. Nicely specced. And the one in front there is the BMW. And this one here is a Benelli TRK. I've been traveling four hours and I still have two bars. Two out of six. Mm. I have to go inside and scan for the payment and also get some snacks. At the gas station, I met this other rider who rode all the way from central China, Hubei province. And he was also on his way to Iwu. And uh, Iwu was the place I was going to go to two days later. So we planned to meet there in Hujo if the opportunity came. We talked for a while and then eventually exchanged contact numbers. And then we were both on our way. Refuel now, back to six bars, full tank. Got some refreshment. Met a nice guy. Had some conversations. He's going to EU. Um, EU is my next de destination on my way back to Shanghai. So from Huangsha, I'll go through EU before Shanghai. And apparently, he also, he's also going to EU and he will be in EU on the day I arrive. So. I might get in contact with him, see if he's still around so we can grab a meal or something. Really nice. This is why we ride. Making friends, exploring, just makes life beautiful. This mountain, solid rock formation. so beautiful kind of like a picture you have the clouds the mountain tops and then the different levels of mountains it's just so nice so appealing to the eye nature is really wonderful All the towns and villages I rode through looked clean and organized. I was really impressed. I see a lot of sugarcane sellers along the road. Maybe, maybe sugarcane is what they grew around here. If you look here, you'll see a lot of sugarcane sellers. People just stop by to buy. Yeah, I see a lot of sugarcane plants over there so this area might be suitable for growing sugarcane wow 
It's almost a mini market here, a sugarcane market. This was my beautiful entry into Huangshan City. Oh, this junction is beautiful. Looks very organized with so many flowers, different varieties of flowers, different colors. Makes it look really nice. I am now in Guangxia. I got about 15 minutes more to arrive at my hotel. Ah, look at the mountains all over. The whole place is basically surrounded by mountains. I'm in Huangshan city now and I'm, I'm just looking for my hotel got less than three minutes to arrive the scenery is quite nice I'm not sure if this is an outskirts or a city center but so far it looks like it's not a very busy place Huangshan is a big area anyway and a lot of people come here to visit the mountains so there might not be people on this part in this part of the city. But yeah, Huangshan is mostly famous for the Yellow Mountains. So I can imagine being the national holiday, there must be a, a multitude of people trying to have the experience of climbing those famous mountains. It might just be ahead somewhere. Yeah, we we're almost there. The location of the hotel is nice. Some restaurants and supermarkets around here. Looks like we have to go in here. It's a seafood restaurant. I've just arrived at my final destination, Wanshan, and I've just checked into my hotel room. I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of the room so we see where I'm staying for tonight. The room is not as big as the one I stayed in yesterday, but I think this one is much cleaner and much nicer. Let me show you. So let's start from the room itself. So this is the size of the room. That's it, from there to there, and then from there to here. And it's really nice. There's space over there for putting your bags and whatever you what you brought with you. And then this is the bed, very, very nice bed. I like the decoration up there. And the lighting, I like this light bar with individual balls integrated at different points. That's really, really nice. And then I got this mirror stretching all the way from the top to the bottom. Both sliding doors have mirrors, so that's really good. I don't know if I really need that, but the mirrors, but yeah, it is there. And in here you have some sort of an extra pillow support. And in the middle shelf, you have a kettle, some water. Oh, it's not glass, it's plastic, but it's still nice. Some tea, and then there's a refrigerator in here. Wow, that's awesome. So you can buy your stuff and store them in there. So you need them. You got slippers down here for two, although I'm alone. And then you got a TV here. Very, very nice. Very nice size TV. The colors are nice as well. Some lighting. Let's just take a look at what's in the other side of the closet. So yes, here you got a place where you can hang your stuff. There's a hair dryer there. There's enough space to store all my riding gear jackets and all that and then you got wooden floor and this is the main door when you open the main door you come in this is the washroom area let me see if I can turn on the lights here yes so the washroom is really nice feels really homey you got your towels in China you're provided with towels and looks very very clean 
you got your toilet area, your sink, and you got a heated mirrors as well. Nice. And then you got your shower area. This is very, very nice for the price. Right, so if you're coming to China to travel, you might want to consider this as one of your hotels that you want to stay in. And it's got a sliding door for closing the shower or the, the washroom. How cool is that? This is perfect for single or a couple to live in. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna unwind, unpack my things, and as usual, download the videos that I've made today. If you're a vlogger, you know that the first thing you want to do is download your videos because you don't know what's going to happen to your SD card. You don't want to risk it. Of all the hard work, you don't want to lose it for no reason. So I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Later that evening after some rest, I popped into the hotel's restaurant to get something for dinner. I ordered one of my favorite Chinese meals, tomato and scrambled eggs stir fried. And it also came with rice and I got a drink to top it up for the evening.